Okay, today we're going to be talking about the Stalker Dual DSR. DSR is standing for Direction Sensing Radar, which is the primary difference between the Stalker Dual and the DSR. The DSR, of course, is Direction Sensing. And here's the remote control for it. And so you start off with the green button here on the right, power is on the radar, like so. That's the only control on the radar. The rest is on the remote. We have a sensitivity 100, sensitivity 1 through 4. So 4 being the fastest, uh, the furthest sensitivity or the best sensitivity. Then we have a PS520. We should leave that on 20 if you're patrolling above 20. If you do pull, patrol below 20, you can change it to 10. And if you do patrol below 10, you can change it to 5. But to eliminate ghost readings and stuff in patrol, it's recommended to just leave that on 20. That way, uh, for typical drivers, they're never patrolling below 20 unless they're in a subdivision or something like that. Okay, the next thing would be uh, the squelch control. All that does is basically squelch the audio so you don't hear any static and stuff. So the only time you hear audio is when there is a target in the target window. Then there's the self-test. You push that. It makes sure all of the lights are lighting up on the radar. Shows battery voltage, internal temperature of the radar. Runs through a 10, 35, 65 test and then says pass. Now we're on the front antenna on this radar. If uh, we switch to rear, it would show rear, but there's none hooked up, so it flashes and shows fail because there is no rear antenna. By the way, if you get a fail on these radars, it's because you got a bad antenna cable or antenna's not hooked up or whatever, or the wrong antenna is hooked up. Maybe you got a standard Stalker dual antenna on a DSR, it'll show a fail. Next thing is the audio. You can get uh, adjust that on up, but I'd say leave it on two or so. Uh, then you have a patrol speed blank, which basically blanks the patrol speed. If you wanted to bring someone back and show them how fast they were going, you could, they would see their speed, but not see your speed uh, in the window. Light basically turns the light on on the remote, but if you keep pushing it, it adjusts the brightness of the display on the Stalker DSR. So we're going to leave it on six since we're in pretty bright sunlight. Okay, so we uh, next thing we have is the same opposite. Right now we're operating and moving, uh, but if we hit it in same, that'll show moving vehicles going the same direction they were going. Opposite, the same goes away. Now we're moving, showing oncoming traffic. Then you got a moving stationary button here. Basically, it toggles between moving with the two brackets, waiting for a patrol speed. Hit it once, that's stationary closing. Hit it again, that's stationary away. Hit it again, and that's stationary both directions. Now notice it's showing the fastest car. I can turn that fastest car on and off in the sub-menu. So we're going to leave the fastest on. So in this case, we're sitting here running stationary both directions. And it's showing that this car is coming 48 toward us with the arrow going down. And the fastest car is 67. Uh, let's turn off this blower here. Um, that, that car is going away 44 and it's showing there's a faster car down the road doing 48 going away. Now we're showing um, this is just stationary both directions. So no matter which direction, we're going to pick up cars in both directions. And so it's showing the speed of the car in what direction. So this is 51 going away. That's that car way down the road right there that is still showing. And now we got a car 48 or 49. That's the car almost out of sight coming around the corner down there. 
and it's showing that car. Very sensitive radar. Uh, some of these radars are working miles out in the open prairie in Texas. Uh, we've heard stories of officers that would drink a cup of coffee from the time they locked in a speed till the guy finally got close enough to write him a ticket. Maybe five miles. So in this case, uh, we're showing a 48 mile an hour coming toward us. 49. The car behind him is doing 50, 51. And here comes a car in this direction. He's doing 41 away. See that? And then there's a car in front of him that's going a little bit faster. This fast window will show the car that's going f faster if they're going faster than the strong car. If the strongest car or upfront car is, is the fastest, you won't see anything in the fast window. So, we're going to, um, next we're going to go to station, back to stationary closing. Now we're only seeing cars coming toward us. And that's this car here. Notice that car pulling out going the other way. You're not going to see him. You're just seeing the car coming towards you, which is this car right here. Car is going away. It's ignoring for the most part. So now we're going to change it to stationary away. And so that's uh, basically the ability to be able to lock between stationary away stationary closing or both is the advantage of this of the dsr you can you can say i only want to see cars coming toward me not any cars going away so that's the advantage of the dsr now we're going to go ahead and do moving mode um, we're going to put that on and it shows the brackets so we're going to go ahead and pull out in traffic here and Turn on the air conditioning so our camera crew won't get too hot in the back seat there. Um, okay. Now it's showing my patrol speed at 19 and a car coming at us at 47. And there is one doing in the background going a little bit faster. So now we're going to do, uh, that's closing speed. Uh, we're, we're patrolling at 46 and we're doing, like I said, moving uh, opposite direction. So we're picking up that car there, it's doing 23, coming in the opposite direction. But of course we're still not seeing the car in front of us because he's going the same direction we are. So to catch that car, I'm going to put my remote control in same direction moving mode. And I'm doing 45. The car in front of me is long gone. Oh, there he is. We're catching up on him a little bit just showed him at 53 there you can see him around the corner I'm doing 58 we're, do, we're we've got again we've got it in same direction moving mode so it's clocking cars going the same direction we are it's ignoring these cars coming from the other way catch him we'll speed up a little bit there you can see his that car in front of us doing 56 and we're doing 64 so you can clock cars doing the same direction you are. If you would switch to the rear antenna, you could catch cars coming up behind you doing the same direction you were, you're going. So that's really a good feature of the same 
direction moving mode is a wonderful feature of the D of the DSR or the Stalker Dual. Now, uh, notice that I have to be going at least three or four mile an hour faster or slower than that guy, or it doesn't see any relative change of motion between my car and his. So if I'm going three mile an hour slower, it knows I'm going slower and it adds three mile an hour to my patrol speed. If I'm going three or four mile an hour faster, like we're going to do now, okay, now it's subtracting that, it's seeing about a 10 mile an hour difference between me and him and subtracting from my patrol speed to show the target. But notice once I get close to his speed, it's not going to pick up. I got to go. I can go a little bit slower, like I'm doing now, and it shows him doing 58, and I'm doing 51, or I could go faster. So we're going to go back to opposite direction. We got this car already coming right here. sensitive radar so this ends the demonstration of the DSR 2X or the DSR actually the 2X being the one that we showed in our other video that shows both the front and rear antennas at the same time this one only shows one antenna at, at a time depending on whether you're switched to the front or rear antenna so it's called the Stalker DSR. The 2X shows both front and rear on the same display, so it's got two extra windows for the rear antenna. And we'll do a test. actual uh, in the tuning fork mode uh, after we run test we're in the tuning fork mode so it's not going to pick up uh, speeds correctly on the road while you're in the tuning fork mode but it will read tuning forks the way you know it's in the tuning fork mode it shows fork on the display that way you can read tuning forks this being a directional radar you have to have the radar in fork mode in order for it to pick up tuning forks. Because it's a directional radar, it won't pick up uh, like a standard radar will. It's not directional, unless you have it in fork mode.